I Play America is a family entertainment center in Freehold, New Jersey. This indoor complex operates year-round and has a lot to offer between the games and rides. And if you're a coaster enthusiast, this place does have a coaster credit waiting for you. And it's just a 20-minute drive from Six Flags Great Adventure. Find out if you should visit in this review. I Play America opened back in 2011 on Veterans Day. It rejuvenated a dilapidated strip mall, and it now boasts 155,000 square feet or nearly 4 acres of activities. But one of the most unique things about this place is its appearance. A lot of FECs just plop rides and games down with little regard for theming or appearance. They often can feel like warehouses. I Play America is different. This place has a nice atmosphere to it. It is designed to be a cross of a New York City street and a Jersey Shore boardwalk, and I definitely get both those vibes. Then the newer section with the coaster is themed to a garage with some car and auto shop paraphernalia on the walls. The whole complex is dark lighting, so it feels like you're at night and it's a brilliant choice. The colors of the fake storefronts really pop towards the front. Then the boardwalk area comes alive with the lights on both the buildings and rides. Like many FECs, this one is free to enter. You can then either pay per ride or purchase an unlimited wristband. The latter costs just under $40 and it includes most rides, including the go-karts. It does not include either the XD Dark Ride or the non-ride attractions like Laser Tag. If you pay per ride, you purchase a card and load it with credits. There's a $2 fee to open a card and each credit costs 50 cents. You can then use them for rides, attractions, and games. Rides cost 7 to 20 credits each, which is on par for most FECs. If you're interested solely in the coaster, that one is 12 credits or $6. Prior to visiting, definitely check the hours online. They have long hours on the weekends, but their weekday hours are more limited. This place tends to be closed Mondays and Tuesdays. Then they open the late afternoon Wednesday through Friday. On vacation weeks, they often extend their hours and add days to the calendar. The games and a handful of attractions open with the park, but it is worth noting the rides tend to open an hour late. iPlay is open until 9 or 11 p.m. most days, meaning it tends to stay open later than Six Flags Great Adventure. So if you're seeking the coaster credit, it is very easy to pop in here at the end of the night. I have only visited this park on vacation weeks, which should be some of their busiest days. Yet, crowds were very manageable. Guests were spread out pretty evenly between the games and rides. Rides have been complete walk-ons. Now let's talk about those attractions. The heart and soul is the arcade. This is mostly located in the center of the building, but there are some additional games in the hallways. You have all sorts of modern games, and there's a nice mix of redemption and non-redemption games. And one neat option they offer is a non-redemption play pass if you don't care about earning tickets. Moving on to the rides, you have a dozen of them. Most are smaller flat rides targeted towards kids, but there are four I want to highlight. First is the Freedom Rider Spinning Coaster. This is one of those highly common SPF Visa spinners. This one has the usual figure eight layout, but it's extra disorienting being indoors. Second is Reverse Time. This is the park's most intense ride. It's a little flat from SPF and it's their take on the chance wipeout or freestyle. Do not be fooled by this ride's small size. It offers several little pops of airtime as you spin up and down. Three is the IPA Speedway Go-Karts. This is probably the park's most popular ride. The track layout is very basic, but the electric cars are on the newer side. Four, there's the XD Dark Ride. If you've never done one of these Triotech shooters, you sit on a motion platform, don 3D glasses, and use a gun to fire at a screen. It is a lot of fun. There are multiple films to pick from, lots of targets to shoot at, and the guns are responsive. I think it's the best attraction there. Lastly, I know there are a few food options available as well. There are quick service options, plus a bar and grill. However, I have not stayed long enough to try any of them. So do I recommend I Play America? I think this is a good FEC. It looks nice, and the offerings are quite balanced. I think this place is best suited for young kids and families. They could easily spend a few hours here. But young adults could also enjoy themselves here if they love arcade games or spinning rides. Then you also have that coaster credit to draw in the enthusiasts. 
So those are my thoughts on I Play America, a fun indoor FEC in New Jersey. What are your thoughts on this complex? Have you been there? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.